right over the river channel of the Mojave River through Palisades Ranch and it, the water is high. creates a lot of heterogeneity. So through the processes of, of river movement, we have a lot of channel migration going around here. So that's moving sediment, which is changing the habitat, both temporally and spatially around. And your water availability is different in all of these places. So you have what are known as microsites that plants will key in on, which allows a bunch of different types of plants to grow in one place as opposed to up in the desert uplands where you pretty much have the same water availability. The fluvial geomorphology is how landforms have changed through water. So it's how water and sediment have moved through time to create riverbeds and support different ecosystems. Behind me is a beaver dam and the beavers have been very challenging because they are the best engineers. And what they're doing is they are taking advantage of those sandbar deposits and they're building beaver dams across those sandbar deposits and so they are backing up water and that's creating a very healthy riparian forest but that also makes for a very challenging survey. We were thinking there would be quite so much beaver activity through this reach um, but it's really making a, a healthy impact and being able to inundate the entire floodplain. I've been out this week working on a soil survey for the entire ranch. Um, the goal of the soil survey is really to provide baseline information to inform land management. So it's going to inform the engineering design for, for restoration, uh, kind of within the floodplain, but then in the upland areas, it's also going to inform management for things like upland vegetation communities, as well as potentially some uh, sensitive or rare plants. It's important to know this in these complex systems, what's here? Do we have some non-native plants that are getting out of control and taking over? This is a plant called Lepidium latifolium. That's a Latin name. It's also known as per perennial pepperweed. And it's a, a non-native plant that we find all over riparian systems in the West. And this plant is able to take over because it spreads all over through the roots, but also produces tons of seeds and these seeds are viable for a long time. It can uh, really take over. It has lots of water and it takes over so that a lot of the native plants that should be there can't grow there. The methods that are used to get rid of this plant, oftentimes people use really terrible herbicides and obviously we, we don't want to do that around any river. Something we might consider here potentially would be goats. Um, I've seen that work really well in some wetland parks that are, are sensitive. So. We'll look at all the methods, but we'll give it our best go.